My name is Jewel James. I'm the master carver of the House of Tears Carvers uh, of the Lummi Indian Nation. We have uh, drawn a line. We say, Kohoi. And enough is enough. The amount of uh, impact that has damaged the air, water, and land of the world around us has gotten to the point where this generation of children, this generation as they move into adulthood, is coming aware that they may not survive. We're killing off all those cultures that would protect the earth, reinforcing the cultures that destroy the earth, and as a consequence, creating a world our children can't live in. Somebody has to stand up and say, no, no more. You know, and, uh, we need to lock arms. We need to hold, join hands. You know, it's not just our battle, it's everybody's battle. You know, every child, whether red, black, white, or yellow, all of us have to draw the line and unify. We recently were deeply engaged in battles to stop the uh, several coal ports that would uh, bring in coal that would cause uh, mercury and uh, uh, arsenic contamination to the waters and also large uh, pipelines are coming this way. Oil trains, coal trains, uh, oil ships, coal ships, all of these are posing threats to the Salish Sea. And so as uh, Native Americans with treaty rights and a government-to-government -government relationship with the United States, we believe that uh, the United States has a treaty duty to us, and they also have a duty to their own people to protect the air, water, and land for the future generations of their own children, their own grandchildren. We know that the public uh, is tired uh, many times of seeing the same thing over and over and over, death and destruction, you know, and um, we like to use a totem pole to kind of uh, awaken something inside them, an appreciation, you know, of uh, symbolism and stories. And so we've started these totem pole journeys. We go across, throughout the region, all across the United States in some instances, where we're calling together churches, environmental groups, citizens groups, kind of like the unity of the symbols on the pole. We try to create the same unity, build a social totem uh, pole relationship where we're challenging politicians and bureaucrats to come together and look at the science and look at the facts and make a decision to protect the air, the water and the land and uh, the health of the people.